Do you wish you could do something this crazy in Bloons Tower Defense 6? Well today I'm going to show you how to mod Bloons Tower Defense 6 on Epic Games. If this video helps you out please give a like and subscribe. So first things first that's obvious we're going to need to install Bloons Tower Defense 6 on Epic Games. Very simple and easy. If you're watching right now it's actually free for the next week. But, yep, you want to do that, and we got it done our, on our end, so we can start on step two. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go to the Melon Loader download page. Type it in like this, Melon Loader BTD6. Go right here where it says Hemi Semi Demi Present. Downloads and installation. Okay, and then you're going to go to the link in the middle right here where it says Download the Mod Helper and Melon Loader. If it gets blocked, uh, just go to keep to make sure um, you can actually access the file because it might recognize it as... Okay, forget about that melon loader you just downloaded. We're going to do the melon loader installer. Uh, actually, I know this one works better at least or more consistently. So go to melon loader wiki as you see right here. And you're going to want to scroll down to where it says automated installation. We're going to be using this to install melon loader. So melon loader.installer.exe. Make sure your computer saves it. Now we're going to go back to the other Melon Loader page to download the rest of the links. We're using this later. Okay. Step 4. Go download and install the .NET 6.0 runtime. This only has to be done once, I believe. So if you do this uh, once, you should be good whenever you update. But who knows, maybe you might need to retry. I've never had to redo it myself. So download and install this. I already did it, so I'm going to exit out of that. And then step five, we're gonna do the same thing with Microsoft Visual C++. I already did this as well, so I'm not gonna do it, but you're gonna to wanna to install this. This is going to actually restart your computer once you're done, I believe, which is fine. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, step six is to run the melon loader, select Bloons Tower Defense 6 uh, executable, and install and run the game. Okay, so here we go find the melon loader where you downloaded it okay and then it's gonna say unity game select and then it's at this PC local disk program files epic games balloon star defense 6 that's where it's at okay once you're done with that so you're gonna want to actually run the game uh, once it uh, gets past this and goes onto the actual loading screen of the actual game, we're going to exit. It should work right here. You shouldn't have any issues up to this point. If you do, maybe try and restart the tutorial. But you should be good so far. And like I said, once this is done, you're going to close out. It may take a while, <laughs> just so you know. Uh, but this is to basically create all the files for the next steps. Okay, now the game is loading up. I don't know if it's going to load past this, but it doesn't matter. So let's exit out of there and we can move on to the next step. Okay, also real quick, this is what your uh, file should look like after it's installed and whatnot. So it should look like this. Okay, step seven. Next, you're going to download Bloons Tower Defense 6 Epic Games Mod Compact.dll. So type it in like I have it right here. Bloons Tower Defense 6 Epic Games Mod Compact. Okay, it's going to be the first link right here, most likely. Graham Cracker slash BTD6 Epic Games slash Mod Compact. And then go down here where it says installation only for Epic Games, not Steam. Click on that link. And we're going to download it. So click there. It's going to say it's dangerous probably. So just go to keep to make sure you can actually access it. Then we need to go to the file location of um, Bloom Star Defense 6 and go to your downloads. You're going to want to move that thing you just downloaded into the plugins folder, specifically the plugins folder. Okay, now step eight, you're going to place the mod helper in the mod folder and run the game. So grab your mod helper and put in the mod folder. Now your mod should work after this. So I'm going to put the speed hack melon uh, mod that I downloaded just to test it out. Okay, and we're going to load up. It's going to, it should work from here. And just so you know, if it doesn't load, you might want to jump to the troubleshooting portion of the video. Save yourself some time because it should work. Okay, so here we go. We're loading up the game. Step nine. There we go. It's all done. All right. 
Now we can check it out. So in the bottom right, you have the mod helper menu. This is where you can change settings on mods by clicking on them. You can download them if you go into the bottom right. There's a super cool amount of, but we're gonna do ultimate cross pathing, one of my favorites uh, in order to test this. Okay, we're gonna go back. Uh, whenever you download it, you're gonna have to restart. Same with if you update it. Uh, sometimes it'll show that it needs to be updated. If you update or download one, a new mod, you're gonna have to restart the game in order to actually apply it. So let's do that right now and show you what I mean. Okay, and while you're loading it up, uh, if it doesn't load up, sometimes mods themselves can actually interfere with your game. So if you just downloaded a new mod and it suddenly makes it not work, maybe try deleting that mod and reload the game. But here we are, we're back in. Ultimate crosspathing is working now. So let's go test it out and make sure. This is actually a new file since I just got Epic Games. So we're gonna put the Dart Monkey down. We're gonna need to level him up real quick. So we can do that real fast because we have the speed, ha uh, speed hack on. As you can tell, we're going real fast. And we're gonna upgrade this and suddenly we can ultimate cross path this. So the mods are working and you can do some really, really, really cool stuff with them as you guys all know. Okay, so let's go to some troubleshooting. So here uh, we have a bunch of troubleshooting tips on the uh, Melon Loader website that we were on earlier. If you have any issues, I would go through these. A bunch of them have specific errors that you might want to, um, or that you might be getting on your screen. So check out what it is there. In my opinion, what you should usually do is probably just redo the tutorial. I actually had to redo this for whatever reason. The first time I did it, it didn't work. And then, so I had to da uh, delete Bloons Tower Defense 6, re-download everything, and then it worked. So oftentimes that's the only issue. But anyways, check these out uh, specifically. You might have missed a step or something. So go to this if you have any issues. It's a troubleshooting menu on um, the uh, Mod Helper website. Okay, now when it comes to flagging, right here, these two leaves means your account is flagged, which can happen if you are modding the game. I'm not responsible for this. Do not blame me. Okay, but anyways, right here we have some uh, information on the hacker pool on the Melon Loader website. It gives you basically all the stuff you're gonna need to know on there, a lot to read that I don't wanna waste your time in the video, but basically it's going to restrict you from doing online game modes and whatnot. If you cheat, usually by boosting your account, that's a really good way to get your account flagged and whatnot. So apparently there's some surefire ways that will get your account banned. Personally, I do it on a different account, one that I don't care about. Uh, it says if you're not online, it may, may help and whatnot, but I wouldn't risk it. I'll do it on an account you don't care about so anyways check comments in the description for any help you may need and then the description for the needed links we will be leaving those i'll answer some comments and whatnot but there is there does end up being a lot hopefully you guys can help each other out and whatnot if it doesn't work for you please re restart the tutorial from step one delete the game and restart from step one it should help if you are wanting to mod on steam i actually have a video for that as well so check out the description for that video if this helped you, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!